Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video I want to talk about what I saw in the bottom of this file caching container. I actually had to replace the pump because of what we found at the bottom of this container, but that wasn't the only thing. As I filtered out the oil, which I have been doing little by little out of the entire system, using a at-home coffee filter, uh, which works in an oil funnel after I removed and used rubbing alcohol to remove any gas or oil that I may have used on it before. Um, I'm filtering out the oil because in here, you can see a little metal fleck, and that is metal. Um, not sure exactly where it came from, maybe the impeller, the pump, not sure where it came from, but I'm filtering the entire system, including the radiator. Additionally, what was at the bottom of this container I'm gonna show you a picture of uh, was very disappointing. Now, I've heard of many people throwing their A6N in with regular old good commonly used quality thermal paste, uh, but I never seen this much thermal paste at the bottom, or at least I haven't heard any reports. So what you saw in the bottom container basically came off of, you see how much extra thermal paste there is on those things, like super lathered on everything. So all that extra thermal paste eventually broke down and sunk to the bottom of the container then obviously filtering through the system which is bad and uh, part of the reason between the metal particulates or impurities plus this extra amount of thermal paste in the system made me had to replace the pump that's why i'm filtering it out um making it work with what we got you know coffee filter and a funnel working at home in the garage right next to my car no no uh real space to move around but uh pumps already replaced and if you want to see the long form video Click the link in the description. But that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share with you what I found. And if you need to filter out your oil, um, you know, some people will say, why don't you just get an oil filter and plumb it into the loop? If we did, there would be some extra back pressure and a couple other things that we need to account for, thus needing a bigger pump. So to hopefully get this Bitcoin ASIC back up and running, um, we're just filtering it out the old fashioned way and making it work. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Please do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.